Ajib anil as'ilati la atiyati Aina zahaba Harun wa astikau Zahabu ilal matar You can then read this Listikbali raisihim Are you with me brothers and sisters? Lima lam taqdub aliyun al wajibati Liannahu lam yafaham darsa Lam now you will use lam, huh? lam yafaham, he did not understand the lesson. Ma huwa shayyul ladhi lam yafaham hu aliyu. What was the thing that Ali did not understand? Lam yafaham farqa bain al jumlatil ismiyati wa jumlatil fi'ali. All these are there in the book. If you read it a couple of times, inshallah, you will figure it out. I always you know, tell you, keep the highlighters handy, even pencils handy, you can underline it, circle it, put it into bracket, and it will make a lot of things easy for you, inshallah. Ashara had mudarrisu darsa maratan ukhra? Naam. Sharahahu. Sharahahu maratan ukhra. He explained it one more time. Tammal ma yali. Brothers and sisters, ponder what follows. Yadhabu lam yadhab, which is equal to mahadhaba. See, mahadhaba, he did not go. Lam yadhab, what is the meaning of lam yadhab? He did not go. Same meaning. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Same meaning. Okay. Now, the sentences are coming, you know. If you have highlighter, I would highlight the verbs which are majzum to make sure we understand that after lam, the fail mudarya got majzum. Lam azab ila suki al yom. Translation, brother. I did not go to suk today. Got the idea, brother? Lam harfu jasmin wa nafyin wa qalbin azhab failun. Mudariyun majzumun bi sukun fa'il mustatir takdiruhu ana and illa suki jar majrur al yawma darf darf zaman lam nalab kuratal salati amsi what is the meaning of this brother and sister we did not play basketball yesterday did not play lam nalab Lam nafaham hadha darsa jayidan. We did not understand this lesson. So I am not analyzing now. You know it's very simple, brother and sister. Arattu. What is arattu? I wished. Arada. Huh? Arada yuridu. Arada. I wished. An azuraka al barihata. I wished to visit you. Last night, Lakin Abi, what is Abi? Abba. Huh? Abba is your Ismu Lakinna, Wahuwa Muda and Mudafilehi. Lam Yasmahli did not permit me, Bil Khuruj, to go out. Huh? Huh? Laylan, Laylan Zarf. Because it denotes time. Laylan is zarf. Lam akul shayyan mundhu yawmaini. Translation, brother. I haven't eaten anything since two days. Lam tasmail adana ya harun. Translation, brother. Did you not? Did? It's always past. Huh? Did you not hear the adhan? Ya Harun, Bala, yes indeed, Samiyatu, I heard. Lam, Lam nadrus lugat al-arbiyata fi baladina. Lam nadrusil lugat al-arbiyata. We did not study Arabic language in our country. Lam jaftahil bakkalu dukanahu al-yam. The green grocer 
did not open the store today. His store, Dukanahu, his store today. Lam ashraba kahvata. Lam ashabil kahvata. I did not drink coffee by the Salat al Fajri al Yom. Okay? Gasaltu manadila. I washed handkerchief. Walam agasil kumsana. And I did not wash the shirt. So see, you can understand the meaning of lam. Goes in the past. Now here is a beautiful exercise, brother. You got to use lam. Answer the following questions by making it negative by using lam. Adarasna logatal arbiyata fi baladika. What will you say? Darasta will become first. You will say la. And then what will you say? Lam adrus. What will you say? Lam adrus. Or you can say Lam adrus ha if you want to. Or you can say Lam adrus sil logat al abiyya fi baladi. It will become fi baladi. Akasarta nazarat al hasni ya Harun. Translation, brother. Did you break? Spectacles of Hassan, Ya Harun, what will you say? La. Lam Aksir. Lam Aksir Ha. Or you can use the whole thing. Lam Aksir Nazarata Hasdi. Azahabtum ilal Mutahafi Ya Ikhwanu. Lam Nazhab, because it is antum. So you will say, La, Lam Nazhab ilal Muthaf. Adakhalti Maktabatal Jadida ya Salma? La, Lam, Lam Adhul. Or you can say, Lam Adhul, and you can say the whole sentence, or you can just simply say, Lam Adhul Ha. Lam Adhul Ha. Are you with me? You can use ha as a pronoun for the maktaba. This is tricky, huh? brother and sister. Asalaka, asalaka al mudiru anni. Did the headmaster ask you about me? I am asking you. Huh? Did the headmaster ask you about me? What will you say? No. He did not. He did not ask me about you. So what will you say? La. Lam yas al ni. If you want to say al mudiru, you can say al mudiru. Otherwise, he is there in the verb. Lam yas al ni. And then, anka. Mashallah. That was beautiful. Lam. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ah, lam. Huh? Lam. We know what lam is. Yas al. Fe'lun, mudariyun, majzumun bisukun. Fa'il mustatir. Takdiruhu, huwa yadullu ala mudir. Are you with me? And then, nunu vikaya. Ya is mafulun bihi. And anka, jar majrur. Huh? How will you translate? He did not ask me about you. Now you can easily put Lam Yas Alni Al Mudiru if you want to put the file there. Lam Yas Alni Al Mudiru Anka. Huh? Or you remove Al Mudir because when you say Lam Yas Al, he did not ask. So the Mudir is inside the file. Mustatil. Huh? Inshallah. You want to copy it? Copy it down, brothers and sisters. Huh? If you wish, you can copy it down. Otherwise, if you know, you also have Hallo Tamarin to guide you. 
Are things getting clearer, inshallah? This was a tough question, huh? which requires extra thinking. You will first put la. Did the mudir ask you about me? What will you say first? No. He did not ask. So, Sister Naima, first you will say la, and then you start the sentence with lam. Are you with me? In all of these sentences, if there is a need for la, you can put la. Huh? Inshallah. Afatahta nafizata gurfatil mudiri ya walat. Translation. Oh boy, did you open window of the room of mudir? Huh? What will be the answer? La. La. And then you will start with lam aftah nafizata gurfatil mudiri. Hmm? Fine, brother and sisters. Then Lamma is clear to you? Huh? Let us see if we can finish this. Afahimti darsa ya zainab. Now you got to use lamma. What will you say? Lamma afham hu. Afham hu. Dars will become hu. Lamma afham hu. What is the meaning? I have not yet understood. I, you know, she is still trying to understand. A raja abu ka min dimashk ya Omar. La lamma lamma yarjir. That is good enough. He has not returned yet. Okay. Adakhal al mudarrisul fasla. Did the mudarris enter the uh, classroom? La lamma yadkhul. Huh? You can say lamma yadkhul. Okay. Akatatumul wajibati ya ikhwanu. Translation Did you write the uh, homework, ya ikhwanu? What will you say? La lamma naktubha. Naktubha. Are you with me? Because you have to have mafulun bihi, and sometimes you can change the mafulun bihi into a pronoun. Huh? So what will you say, Brother Hassan? Lamma naktub ha. Naktub ha. Ha goes to the wajibat. A karana darsa rabia. What will be the translation? A karana. Did we read? Huh? We are not sure whether we read it or not. So we are asking, did we read uh, the lesson number four? What will you say? La. Lamma nakra'ahu. 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 Very good. Agasalti kumsani ya ummi. Agasalti kumsani ya ummi. What will she say? La. Lamma agasil ha. Lamma agasil ha. Lamma agasil ha. Zahaba zamiluka ila taif ya ali. Did your classmate, colleague, go to Taif, Ya Ali? What will you say? La. Lamma yazhab. Lamma yazhab. Okay, you can say, and that is good enough. Fine, brother. Yajuzu hadhafu manfi. Again, lamma. Jaza yajuzu. What is the verb, brothers and sisters? You can write it down. Huh? Jaza ya juzu. What is the meaning of jaza? Ya juzu, ya juzu. It is permissible. Huh? It is permissible. Uh, what is permissible? That you can you can uh, drop the negation of lamma. Okay, which is the verbal sentence. For yumkinu, yumkinu al ektifa u bilamma fakat. Are you with me? Ektifa u means sufficient. It is sufficient with just writing lamma. Fakat fi jawabi a raja abuka. 
Araja Abuka? No. What is the jawab of that? Lamma. Khalas. You don't have to write anything more. It is permissible. Fakati jawabi Araja Abuka? Araja Abuka? And then you can just say Lamma. Not yet. Fine, brother and sister. Now this does not apply to us, brothers and sisters. This is uh, people who, instead of using lamma, which is the proper Arabic, they use lissa. We are not interested in that. Huh? We don't speak like that. We, inshallah, when we speak, we'll speak lamma. Okay. Fielu madin, fielu amrin. Mabniyani, mabniyani Fielu madin, fielu amrin Mabniyani, mabniyani Fielu mudariyun is morabun Morabun means it declines Morabun, remember this Fielu mudariyun is morabun it has three kinds of mood. What are they? It can be marfu, it can be mansu, it can be majzum, but never majrur. Fielu madin, fielu amrin, mabniyani, mabniyani. Fielu madin, fielu amrin, mabniyani, mabniyani. Fielu mudariyun is morabun. It has three kinds of mood. Fielu mudariyun is morabun. It has three kinds of mood. It can be marfu, it can be mansu, it can be majzum, but never majrur. It can be marfu, it can be mansu, it can be majzum, but never majrur. Inshallah you'll remember. Alhamdulillah. Ta'ammal siyagal mudariyal majzum. This is very simple, brothers and sisters. What shall I call it? Alba Puri. Huh? Very, because Alhamdulillah you have a good foundation. Huh? Uh, I will take five more minutes and finish this, inshallah. Huwa yadhabu. He goes. Huwa lam yazhab. He did not go. Huh? Alamatu jazmi asukun. What is the alamat of jazm? Sukun. Fialun mudariun, majzumun bi sukun. He atazhabu, she goes. He a lam tazhab, she did not go. Alamatu jazm, a sukun. Correct, brother and sister? Fine. Anta tazhabu. Anta lam Tazhab. What is the meaning of anta lam tazhab? You did not go. Huh? Alamatu jazam sukun. Ana azhabu. I am going. Ana lam azhab. I did not go. Sukun. Nahnu nazhabu. Nahnu lan nazhab. What are these brothers and sisters? What are these verbs? Five in our pocket. <laughs> are you with me? Uh, when you say five in our pocket, in those five words, you can see the Dhamma or Fata or Sukun. Uh, and whenever you see Dhamma, it's Marfu. When you see Fata, it's Mansub. And when you see Sukun, it's Majizum. Uh, Alamatu Jazm. Uh, sukun. Now we come to what is the next section? Noon Aata Hai, Noon Jata Hai. But again, we are having only three. The four dual forms are not brought in now. Hum yadhabuna. What will you say? Hum lam yadhabu. Alamatu jazmi. 
Asfi noon. Are you with me? Asfi noon. For future negation, you use lan. For present negation, you use uh, la. And for past negation, uh, you can use ma or lam. But if you use lam, then the fail mudarya has to be, uh, it has to be fail mudarya. It has to be fail mudarya and it will be majzu. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. Hum yadhabuna, hum lam yadhabu. Uh, and then they did not go. Failun, mudariun, majzumun, bi hadfi noon. That is a short form. What is a little longer form? Fialun, mudariun, majzumun, alamatu jazmihi, alamatu jazmihi, hathfu nuni. Okay? Antum tazabuna, antum lam tazabu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In all the noon is being dropped. Anti tazhabina, anti lam tazhabi. Huh? Noon got dropped. And the files are there. Wow is the file and ya is the file. Okay, our favorite. Hunna and antunna. Hunna yazhabna. Okay, yazhabna. Fealon mudarion mabniyun ala sukoon fi mahalli. Brother, it says hunna yazhabna. They are going. <laughs> you see, you got confused. Yazhabna. Hunna. Yazhabna, fairun, mudariun, mabniun ala sukun, fi mahalli rafain. See, all this first uh, column is all marfu. Are you with me, brother and sister? Write down on top or put a bracket. Uh, do some kind of a sign for you to know it is marfu. Uh, then, brother and sister, hunna, lam, yazhabna. Now, this is mabni. Uh, so what will I say? Lam yazhabna, felon mudarion mabniyun ala sukun fi mahalli jazmin. Very good. Antun tazhabna. So what is tazhabna? Antun tazhabna, felon mudarion mabniyun ala sukun fi mahalli rafain. It's marfu. Antun lam tazhabna, felon mudarion mabniyun ala sukun fi mahalli jazmin. That will be the proper way of saying the analysis. Okay, I think that is enough. Maybe I can do six. Huh? This is halwa puri again, brother. I don't think it is halwa puri. It is pansopari. <laughs> okay. Adhil lam ala al aatiyati. Okay, brother and sisters. Brother Hassan, adhabu use lam in front of it. Lam, adhabu, use lam, lam, adh, adhab, but Abdus Salah, Abdus Samad, yadhabuna, yan, yadhabu, just drop the noon. Uh, uh, but Sayyid, yadhabna, lam, 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 yadhabna, no, yadhabna, mabni. Yes, Habna. Brother Abdul Mukim, Tazhabina. Ram Tazhabi. Brother Muhammad, Tazhabu. Lam Tazhab. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Tazhabuna, Safsa. Lam Tazhabu. And Sister Sumaya, Nazhabu. Lam Nazhab. And Sister Fatima, yours is the last one. Tazhabna. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Today I'm going to enjoy my lunch. Because you answered so beautifully. MashaAllah. That was correct, Sister Fatima. Lam Tazhabna. Mabni, inshaAllah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. <coughs> we'll start from lesson 21 exercise 7 this is a very interesting exercise uh, you should try to do it on a separate piece of paper and uh, inshallah these sentences will help you 
build your skill for construction of new sentences. All we have to do is uh, bring about a proper mudariya. Huh? And because lam is there, that mudariya will become majzum. Sahih? Inshallah. <coughs> lam will make mudariya majzum. Ya khi. Now see, if we read the sentence, then we come to ya khi. Means somebody is in front of us. Sahih? Huh? And then uh, we have Lugat al So how, what, what do you want to ask him? Study. Ha, mashallah. Alam tadrus? Huh? Alam tadrus al lugat al Fi baladika ya akhi? How will you translate? Did you not? Because lam will take the mudariya into madi. Huh? That is very important. Did you, didn't you learn Arabic language in your country, oh my brother? Got the idea? So the verb is tadrus, huh? inshallah. Huh? Tadrusil, because you want to join it. Huh? But it is tadrus. Felun mudariyun, majzumun, bithukun, fa'il, mustadir, takdiruhu, anta. Now is man kasara mira'a. Mirata. Huh? Ya Ali. What is Mirata? Mirror. Huh? Who broke this mirror? Oh Ali. Again we are talking to him. Huh? So Ya Ali, Man Kasara, we are asking him. So he will now reply. Huh? What is his reply? La Adri. I don't know. Huh? Ana no I Lam. Aksar, aksar, kasara, yaksiru. That is, that is what kind of uh, bab is this? Bab daraba. Huh? Okay. Fataho, kasarin. Are you with me? Fataho, kasarin. Bab daraba. Daraba yadribu kasara, yaksiru. Huh? Ana lam aksir ha. That is jama fulun bihi. Got the idea, brother and sister? If you write it. These are so, such beautiful sentences, brother. It will build your, inshallah, uh, vocabs plus your ability to construct sentences. Now you got to watch carefully. Now we are talking about third person, you know. La lam yakh duju. Because now it's a jama, to lab. Lam yakhruju. How will you describe Lam yakhruju? Fialun, mudarion, majizumun, bihazafi noon. Where is the file? Wow. wow. See, once you understand, it's so simple. Huh? And it will give you a special pleasure in your heart. Now you are understanding it and figuring out. And this will happen in the Quran with you. Uh, inshallah, you will understand the same way in the Quran. Inshallah, you will know in the Quran when the noon has been dropped, uh, or when it is majzum. All these things uh, will be within your reach. Inshallah. Sentence number four is Kalatil mudarisatu, Kalatil mudarisatu, lil mudir, lil mudirati. The lady teacher said to the headmistress. Inna haulai talibati. Brother, why talibati? But why talibati? Inna. It is a badal. So, you know, because haulai is mansub. Because it is ismu inna. So, if the badal comes after haulai, it is also mansub. So it became talibati. Huh? It's mansub. Huh? Talibati. You see, chama mona salam. Like chama muzakar salam has its own declension. <laughs> chama mona salam has its own declension. What is that declension? Talibatun. Talibatin. And again talibatin. Twice. Huh? So the sentence will tell us whether 
that tin is majroor or mansur. But here, inna has come. And haulai, like ismu ishara, all ismu ishara, mabni. Huh? So in, in book three, we will be doing something like this. Haulai, ismu ishara, mabniun ala kasra. And then we will say, fi mahalli, rafain or nasbin or jarrin according to its position. Now oh, here it has come after inna, so it is mansub. So then I will say, if I have to describe it, haulai ismu ishara mabniun ala kasra, because it ends with a haulai, huh? and fi mahalli nasbin, because it is mansub and it is ismu inna. Huh? It's very easy. It's very easy. Remember, when something is mabni, then we will be using this phrase, fi mahalli. Because we have to describe. Is it marfu? Is it mansu? Is it majru? Because mabni doesn't show us uh, the, the uh, end, uh, uh, proper ending, you know. Whether it is uh, uh, marfu or mansu or majru. So we will, we will be watching, inshallah. Inna haulai talibati lam yaktubna kataba yaktubu yaktubna. Got the idea, brother and sister? Inshallah. Lam yaktubna wajibati. Again, wajibati. Why wajibati? Jama muana salam. Mafulun. Now it is mafulun bihi. Got the idea, brother and sister? Inshallah. Now, إِلَىٰ حَدِيكَةِ الْحَيْوَانَاتِ أَمْسِي نَحْنُ لَمْ نَزْحَبْ This is easy. نَحْنُ لَمْ نَزْحَبْ How will you translate? We did not go. Or we could have said, نَحْنُ مَا زَحَبْنَا And this is a more eloquent way of saying, نَحْنُ لَمْ نَزْحَبْ Huh? Inshallah. Now the next one is Kanasat Ukhti Gurfataha. She swept her room. Walam. No. Lam, we are talking about her. We are talking about her, third person. Lam Taknus. Lam Taknus. Gurfati. She did not clean my room. Okay? Heard the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Taknus. Now we are addressing Ya Saadatu. What is Saadatu? Plural of Saidu. Gentlemen. More than more than two. Okay? who are in front of us. They have come to your house, you have offered them some fruit, and they are sitting quietly. So what are you going to say? Lima lam ta'akulu al fawakiha Fruit ya saadatu O gentleman. What is the translation? Why didn't you eat? Why did you not eat huh? the fruit? Huh? Huh? Because you left fruit with them, you come back, they haven't touched it. Huh? Okay, so we are asking, why didn't you eat fruit? Okay. Now we are talking to Ya Salma. Now she is in front of us. Mana. Huh? Mana hadihil kalimati. معنى هذه الكلمة سلمى ألم تعرفي تعرفينا will become تعرفي فعل مضارع مجزوم بهذف نون and where is the file يا يا is the file يا means أنتي ما شاء الله I hope you understand it hundred percent إن شاء الله because it's 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 not difficult a uh, little bit of thinking. You need vocabs, huh? inshallah. 
Now, ran al jarasu al The the bell rang now. Walamma. What will you say? What will, why will you say Yakhruju and why will you not say Yakhruj or why will you say Yakhruj and why will you not say Yakhruj? Yakhruj. Yakhruj. Why will you say Yakhruj? Because Musdarisun is the file there. If you say Yakhruju, you will end up having two files. Not that, we can't have it. Huh? So it will be Yakhruj. Huh? Okay? Word will be singular. Huh? Okay? Walamma Yakhruj. Jil mudarrisuna miral fusuli. Now we are talking to all the girls in front of us. Ya bana tu. And nawafiza, what do you do with nawafiza? Open. Lima, why? Lam taftahna. Lima, lam taftahna. Why didn't you open? The windows, oh girls, uh, lima, lam, taftahna. They are in front of you. Antunna. Are you with me? See, somebody is in front of you, uh, then it is antunna. If somebody is away from you, then it is hunna. So here it is antunna. Lima, lam, taftahna. How will I describe taftahna? Lam has come. Fialun. Mudhariyun, mabniyun ala sukun, fi mahalli jazmin, mashallah. See, now hunna and antunna, we have to say mabni and then figure out what is their position. Is it marfu, mansu, or majru? And then accordingly you will say fi mahalli, rafain, nasbin, and jazmin. Here it is jazmin because of lam. Alhamdulillah. Right. <clears throat> now, Waziru min Landana. Lam Rajia. Raja Yarjiu. Lam Yarjia. Lam Yarjia. Il Waziru min Landana. He did not return from London. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Number eight, brother, this is, <laughs> this is real halwa puri for you. Okay, this is, da khattan wahidan taht al mubtada, okay, one line under mubtada, wa khattaini taht al khabar, and wadbut awa khiraha, and put the proper vowel signs at the end. Huh? Brother, are you ready? Brother Hassan? Al-Mau Kalilun. Where shall I put one line and where shall I put two lines? Mashallah. So one line and two lines. Mashallah. Excellent. Brother uh, Abdul Samad. Suadu, that is sister. Suadu. Mumarridatun. Huh? Okay. Uh, Suadu Mumarridatun. Translation, brother. No, is a nurse. Is a nurse. Yes, Mumarridatun is a nurse. Okay. okay. And and brother uh, Hassan, what is the your translation? Al Mau Kalilun. What is less? What is less? Okay. Brother uh, Abdul Mukin. Ah, that is very sad. <laughs> the coffee is cold. Huh? <laughs> the coffee is cold. The coffee is cold. Okay. Muftada? Baridun Khabar. Okay. See, Muftada and Khabar are matching. Huh? Bonus, bonus. Uh, brother uh, Salim? Al Nujumu. Al Nujumi Jamilatun. Where is Muftada? Al Nujumu. Where is the Khabar? Jamilatun. Are you with me, brother? Translation, the stars are beautiful. Not one star, but the stars are beautiful. Huh? Why is Jamilatun? Kullu jama ma'anas. Kullu jama ma'anas. Fine. Sister Nusrat. 
Yes. Not permissible. Forbidden. Huh? Entry is forbidden. Entry is not permissible. Huh? Where is Muftada? Okay, and Mamnu? Khabar. Huh? MashaAllah. Huh? Okay, Sister Madina? Al yes. Door is closed. Where is Muftada? Pahab? Khabar, MashaAllah. See, now, this is very easy. We are back in book one now. <laughs> okay. Sister Rahima? What's the translation, Sister Rahima? Hashem Mushyar. Hashem Mushyar. Yes. Hashem is clever. Intelligent. Fine. Okay, another halwa puri, brothers and sisters. Exercise number nine. My is huh? distinguish. My is means distinguish. Huh? Distinguish al jumlat al ismiyata min al jumlat al fi'aliyati. Distinguish between nominal sentence and verbal sentence. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Whose turn is Sister Arifa? Huh? <coughs> Hadarajal Mudarisu. Jumla failure. Do we look in Jumla failure? We look for verb and file. So where is the verb? Where is the file? Mudarisu. Marfu. Huh? File is always marfu. Uh, Sister Mamuna? Yes. Jumla Ismia. What do we look in Jumla Ismia? Muftida and Khabar. Where is Muftida? Where is khabar? What is karaja? Jumla failure. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Excellent. May Allah bless you with more knowledge and all of us, inshallah. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? The translation in English will be same. But in Arabic, we can distinguish them as a two kinds of sentences. Huh? Okay. Uh, Sister Nasri. Wadahi kal waladu. Jumla failure. Yes. What I do? Translation? The boy laughed. MashaAllah. Excellent. Sister uh, <coughs> Manas? Yes. Jumla Ismiya, Muftada Khabar. What is the translation? The flower is beautiful. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Okay. Uh, Sumaya? Jumla failure. Dakhlat talibu. What do we look in Jumla failure? We look for verb and file and mafulun bi. But here we have dakhla is fial. Where is the file? A talibu. Very good. Oh, you got a, such a nice sentence, Sister Fatima. Allahu akbaru. Akbaru. Is mutafdil. Okay? Fine. Comparative and superlative degree. Here you can say it is superlative degree. Uh, jumla, Jumla Ismiya. What are we looking in Jumla Ismiya? Muptada and Khabar. Where is our Muptada? Allah. Where is our Khabar? Akbaru. Huh? MashaAllah. Excellent. Now this exercise, brothers and sisters, it's it's very good exercise. We have never done anything like this before. Huh? Inshallah you will try it and you will think before you answer. Huh? What is it? I jin point out, uh, specify. Al is the noun, wal fiel, the verb, and harf, particle. Fima yali. Well, you know what you should do? You should write a sentence, hmm? and then make three columns, and then put everything of the sentence in those three columns. For example, suppose you have already three columns. Huh? Maybe I should make, huh? inshallah. Huh? Huh? First you write the sentence. I will write the sentence. I'll give you one example. Then you'll be doing it on your own. What is the first? Tulabu min al fasli. So I will write down like this. Kharaja al-mudarrisu 
وَالطُلَّابُ مِنَ Okay, then we have three columns. So, brother? And half. Huh? So, what will I, I will write down here? Al Isim. And I'll write down here Al Fair. And I'll write down here Al Half. Okay, brother. What is Kharaja? Fair. So, I will write down here Kharaja. Okay, and what is Al Mudarrisu? Ism. Huh? Here we are looking for, of course it is fine, so I'll say Al Ism. And what is Wow? Atta. So I will put Wow here. Are you with me? And what is the Tullabu? Ism. So I'll put Tullabu here. And what is Min? Harf. I'll put min here. Huh? And what is al fasl? Ism. This is the way you'll try to do it. Huh? We have never done this before. It's very easy. Now this also give you, gives you a little idea about the division of uh, these uh, three categories of, you know, ism, fial, and har. Remember in English we have eight parts of speech, but in Arabic they are general, generalized as three. But in ASM we include noun, pronoun, adjectives, adverb, and ismu fial, which we haven't learned. We we'll learn in book three. And in fial, fial. And in harf, we will have ataf and conjunctions, you know, conjunctions. Ataf is conjunction. So we will have conjunction and prepositions. Huh? Okay? So this is important, brothers and sisters. Now remember, when we started our course, this was the first thing I said. That the, the, the English language has eight parts of speech, and compared to that, we have three parts of speeches, in Arabic, but they represent those eight parts. So, inshallah, it will give us some more idea. We didn't go in detail, but now I think you have enough knowledge and you are strong enough to easily figure out these things. And we are going to do it together. So, I did the first sentence. And whose turn is Sister Sukhaina? Sa'azhabu ilal malabi ba'da darsino. Be very careful, huh, brother? Remember, Noun consists of noun, pronoun, adjective, adverb. And ismu fiel, which we haven't done, so it won't come. Okay, sister. Sa'ad habu is No. Sa is a harf. Sa is a harf. Huh, so it's a harf. Huh? So, so you will write down sa in the column of harf. Azabu is fiel. Ila is harf. Are you with me, brothers? Yes. Everybody? Ila is harf. Huh? Malabi. El is ism. Bada is ism. Why? Bada is ism. Why? What is bada? What is bada? Zarf. And zarf, zarf is adverb. They are all ism. Because see, zarf also, Sister Sukhaina, declines. Anything that declines uh, is a noun. Okay? It, you see, bada can become badi and it will also become badu. Hmm? It will also become badu. So it means it is declining. So whenever you have zarf, there is a noun. Huh? Some zarf are mabni, like amsi. Amsi will always be amsi. Al-ana will always be al-ana. Hunaka will always be hunaka. But then there are verbs like tahta, fauka, amama, khalfa. They will decline. Hmm? If there is a half jar in front of them, they will decline. So, bada is a 
Sister Suhaina, al Isim. And then, Darsi is al Isim. You got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Sister Hafsa, you are asking Ali, so what will you say? Afahimta Darsa ya Ali? Okay. Uh, what is a uh, harf? Harf is stifham. Even if you say harf, that's good enough, you know. And if you cannot say stifham, say interrogation for the time being. But it is like written like this. Harfu is tif ha min. What is the root of this? She said, when asked, what is the root of istifham? Fahamma, <laughs> mashallah. Huh? But then, we are going to do soon, inshallah, and you will then realize that these three letters, when they come, uh, it denotes form 10. Huh? And the root is fahima. We are going to learn all these things. And let me assure you, it's very easy and very interesting, inshallah. Huh? Fahim. So, a uh, is uh, harfu istifam. And next word, fahim. fahim. Uh, see, fahim too, you got to divide it now. What is fahim? Fial. And what is tu? Ism. Because it is a pronoun. Are you with me, brother? Fahim too, there is no such thing, brother. Verb is fahim. So, what is tu? Is a pronoun. Uh, means, uh, no, here it is fahim ta. So what is the? It's a file. So it's a pronoun. So it is ism. Huh? Very good. Adarsa. Ism. What is ya? Harf. And what is Ali? Ism. That's the way we will do it, inshallah. Okay? That's the way I like it. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay? Naam. What is naam? Harf. Yeah. Fahim tu. So again, fahim, verb, tu is ism. Huh? Why we call it ism? Because all pronouns are also categorized in ism. So, Brother Hassan, you have la... Now, reading the sentence, tell me, is it la nafia or la nahia? La nahia, because it's a hukam. Huh? La taktub. Huh? La, don't write. La taktub bil kalam al ahmari. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, what is la? Harf. Huh? Taktub? Fair. Taktub is fair. Huh? Remember? Fine. B, what is B? Harf. Huh? Because it is preposition. All prepositions are harf. Huh? That's why we call it harfjar. Harfu jarin. It is actually harfu jarin. We say harf jar. Harf is there. Fine. And then uh, uh, ism and al ahmari. Ism? Ism. Very good. Brother uh, Abdul Samad. Lam. Lam is harf. Yes. Aksir is fear. Uh, yes. Uh, al manadi la. Um, this is ism. Ism. B is harf. harf. Uh, Sabuni. Sabuni is, uh, ism. ism. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? MashaAllah. How will you translate? Lam agsilil manadila bisabun. How will you translate? No. I did not wash the handkerchief with soap. I did not wash the handkerchief. It's so. Very good. Brother Abdul Mukim. Lan Azhaba, mashallah. Excellent, excellent. What is Lan, brother Abdul Mukim? Harf, mashallah. Very good. Yes. Mashallah. Yes. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. May Allah bless you with more knowledge. Radakallahu ilman ya Abdul Mukim. May Allah bless you with more knowledge and all of us. Ajmain, inshallah. But see, this is here how this is how we do it. When you say baladi, 
there are two words. So we got to break it and describe. Balad is also Islam. And Ya is a pronoun. And that is also Islam. Got the idea? Inshallah. Inshallah. Now, Brother Salim. Who? Ya Bahasu. Anil Miftah. What is Huwa? Ism. Fial. Harf. Miftahi. Is. Ism. Got the idea, brother? Mashallah. Excellent. That was excellent. Sister Nusrat. Ma indi kalamun wala kitabun. Yes. Yeah. Ism. As Zarf, but it is Ism. Ya is also Ism. Kalam is also Ism. Wa is Harf and La is Harf. Kitab is Got the idea? Huh? Mashallah, excellent. Sister um, Madina, you got the uh, you got you got the pan so far, you know. <laughs> okay, it's a little thing, huh? What is Ana Talibun? Both are Ism. Ana Ism, Talibun Ism. Huh? Got the idea? Inshallah, this is this was a good exercise. We have some idea that how the sentences are constructed, and you will always find in the sentence nouns, verbs, and particles. Huh? Inshallah. Now is Allahi. What is Allahi, brothers and sisters? It is the plural of Allati. So we have Allahi and Allati. Both are same. They are plural, the relative pronoun. Huh? Okay. Now look at the sentence. Atalibatu Allati or Lai will be correct. Kharajna min al fasli al ana min min al filibini. Okay. So now here, brothers and sisters, I will request you to put a to start a bracket from Allati huh? and end the bracket at Al Ana. Hmm? So, uh, so truly speaking, the sentence is Al Talibatu Min Al Filipini. That is the sentence. Huh? Any the female students are from Philippines, but now we are describing those uh, female students. You know. So, relative pronouns. Huh? And whenever there is a relative pronoun, ismu mawsula, there is a silatul mawsul. Something that will connect it to the uh, relative pronoun. Fine. So, atalibatu, brothers and sisters, mubtada, allati, is here, naat, okay? And then kharajna, fail, what kind of a verb? Jumla failure. Huh? Jumla failure. But what is kharajna? Failun. Madin. Mabniun ala sukun. That's all. In madi we don't say anything. Mabni ala sukun. That's it. Huh? Because only in mudariya we have moods of mudariya. Marfu, mansu, majzum. We call them moods of mudariya. But madi is mabni. There are no moods, nothing, just straight mabni. Fielu madin, fielu amrin, mabniyani, mabniyani. Fielu madin, fielu amrin, mabniyani, mabniyani. Fail mudariun is morabun. Morabun means it declines. Morabun, remember this. Fail huh? mudariun is morabun. It has three kinds of mood. What are they? It can be marfu. It can be mansub. It can be majzum. But never majroor. Only in mudariya we have moods of mudariya. Marfu, mansu, majzum. We call them moods of mudariya. But madi is mabni. 
There are no moods, nothing, just straight mabni. Min al-fasli jar majroor, al-ana zar. So what is kharajna min al-fasli al-ana? No, no, no. Silatul mausul. Underline it with pencil. What will you underline it? Kharajna min al-fasli al-ana. That is your silatul mausul. You will... No. No. See what did I tell you? If you put it in the bracket and if you remove the whole thing, what is left? A talibatu min al filibini. That is your jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Now, you know, Sister Sukhaina, we have to understand like that. Not think. Brothers and sisters, Arabic language will make you think, will make you smart also. Because your mind is always alert when you are reading Arabic, you know. Because you are always watching for these things, especially Quran, inshallah. Okay, so that is why I told you to put it in a bracket. And then, kharajna min al-fasli, if you underline it, and what is this jumla failure doing here? Silatul mausul. What is this jumla failure doing here? Silatul mausul. Uh, got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to do something that I haven't done it before. I will give you some idea. Uh, even though this verb is dealt in detail in lesson number, I think it is 27 or so. Uh, the whole lesson is on uh, these kinds of verbs. Okay? But I will start today to show you something huh? okay and because Dr. Abdurrahim is only showing you Mahdi I will only do Mahdi huh? and also he has given us three verbs huh? okay what are they brother and sister Kala and then Kama huh? Huh? and then Zara huh? now look at it very carefully brother how many letters are there but where is the fa kalima? Ka. Where is the lam kalima? La. And what is in the middle? Alif. And it has a sukun. Are you with me? It has a sukun. Huh? It has a sukun. Okay. Now, whenever ain kalima has a weak letter, huh, that kind of a verb is called Ajwaf. What is it called? Ajwaf. Ajwaf. Oh, you will remember. Huh? Ajwaf. Ajwaf. Huh? What is the meaning of Ajwaf? Hollow. Huh? Mean the middle of the verb is hollow. I always jokingly say, uh, brothers and sisters, Fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Pet khali hai. <laughs> Pet mein kuch nahi hai. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> I say stomach is empty. <laughs> okay, hollow. Okay. Now, remember I told you also that in Arabic language the weak letters are wow and ya. Huh? Those are the only two weak letters. But then here is Aleph. And we still say the verb is weak. So what happens here? In other words, that Aleph either represents Va or it represents Ya. Are you with me? There is Va or Ya inside it. How do we know? The dictionary will tell you. Or there is another method what is the other method? That when you make it into mudariya, it will show up. Okay? Uh, so, kala, kala, what is the mudariya? Yakulu. Uh, we all know it from Quran also. So, here it is something, I am writing it, brothers and sisters. Kala, yakulu. 
Now this Yakulu tells me, brother, do you remember? In Mudari also there is a Fa Kalima, Ain Kalima and Lam Kalima. What is Ya? Harfu Mudariya. It has got nothing to do with the, the, the root of the verb. So what is the root of the word? Ka, Va, La. So that vow tells me the Ain Kalima in Madhi is also vow. It is also vow. So what is the root? Kavala. What is the root? Kavala. Kavala change into Kala. It is Kavala. Now, if it is Kavala, brothers and sisters, Kavala. And if I tell you it is Bab Nasara, what, what did I say? Bab Nasara. Oh, change this now. It will be Yak Vulu. Huh? Nasara Yan Suru. Huh? Now, here, brothers and sisters, the vowel sign are changed. If I put a sukun on vowel and dhamma on kaf, how will you pronounce it now? Yakul. Huh? What will you say? Yakulu. See, this is how yakulu is done. Now, there are rules for that. But I personally feel at this stage, it is really not important that we should go in detail how they are changing. If you are told, and what I felt it was easy for me, Kala Yakulu, fine. I will remember it, Kala Yakulu. And I will also remember that it was originally Yakulu. It changed into Yakulu. That's good enough for me. Are you with me? But it is Bab Nasara. Now again I emphasize that these are weak letters. They do not conjugate the way we are used to with the sound verbs. There is a major change that takes place. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, I start here, brothers and sisters, with Kala. Let us conjugate. Kala. Next, brother. Kala. Where is the file? Alif. Huh? And then? Kalu. Where is the file? Wow. And then? Kalat. Okay. And then? Kalata. Now remember, I always used to say stop. No more. No more. Okay. Now look at uh, uh, look at this, brothers and sisters. I'm writing it. I'm writing it Kala. Now I have to put I have to put Nunu Niswa file. And what is the condition of Nunu Niswa? It will make the Lam Kalima Sukun. Huh? So I'm putting here, brothers and sisters, Nunu Niswa. Hmm? This made this sukun. And there is already a sukun on alif. Yeah. Huh? You know it, huh? There is a sukun here. Huh? There is already a sukun there. Huh? So there are two sukuns. So then it changed. It, there is a change here. And what is that? This will be dropped. But that's not the only change. There is another change. And that is it, the Fa Kalima also changes. Huh? Okay, if, now this is the rule, which is very simple. The rule is very simple. If it is Bab Nasara, then the Fa Kalima will get Dhamma, that's all. And if it is not Bab Nasara, then Fa Kalima will get Kasara. That's all, it's very simple. Very simple. Huh? When you will do some conjugations, inshallah you will understand. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what is at Hunna? Kulna. And now once you, are on, once you say Kulna, it means you are on 407. Huh? 
Badarshan, go fast. What will you say? Kulta, kultuma, kultum, kulti, kultuma, kultumna, kultu, kulna. Same. Are you with me? What did you do? Tatamatum, ti tumatunna, tuna. That's all. Are you with me? Now if, now I, we haven't done, we are not doing it. Because here, Dr. Adurahim is only mentioning three verbs and they are both, they, all of three of them are Bab Nasr. Huh? But suppose if it was different. Huh? This is a very popular verb, brother. What is it? Ba a. Huh? Very popular verb. Huh? Fine. What is the meaning of ba a? He sold. He sold something. Huh? Okay. It is a mutaddi. It will need mafulun bihi. Now, what is that alif? Huh? Is it wow or ya? If it goes into uh, Bab Nasara, then of course I know it is wow. But it does not go. This is Ba a Yabi Yabi you. So now this Ya tells me that the Ba a is actually Ba Ya a. Are you with me? It tells me now. That this is, I have to go into the mudariya to figure out. Or, we will always refer to the dictionary. But you know something, all these verbs when they come in front of you, once they come, you will remember them. You won't forget, inshallah. Allah will make it easy on us and we will always remember it. So brothers and sisters, yabi'u. Now what kind of a verb is this? What kind of a bab is this? Bab Daraba. Daraba Yadribu. Huh? This is Bab Daraba. Okay. And then originally it is, huh? this is the root. You will say Yab, Yab Yi. This is what it is. Daraba Yadribu. Huh? Yadribu. Huh? So Originally, ba a is yab yi u. But then, we don't say that. Here, the vowel signs change. Kasra uh, comes here, and sukun comes here. No pronouns. Yabi u. So, to me, it's good enough uh, at this stage. Ba a yabi u. And this tells me that it is bab darab. Huh? Ba'a yabi, huh? fine brother and sister. Conjugate. Ba'a, ba'a, ba'u, ba'at, ba'ata, and now bi'ana. Huh? Why bi? Why the fa'kalima got bi? Because the rule is that if it is ba'ab nasara, then it gets dhamma, otherwise kasra. Huh? Are you with me? Otherwise that's all. Simple rules, but let me write down properly. Huh? What is this all called? Ajwaf. These verbs are called Ajwaf. Huh? What is Ajwaf? The Ain Kalima is weak. It is hollow. Huh? And if you want to remember, hollow words, brothers and sisters, pet khali hai. Kuch bhi nahi hai. Okay? Fine. Here we are. Ba, ah. Now I am putting hunna, sukun. Hunna, noon has come, the lam kalima must get a sukun. I put a sukun here. But then I already have a sukun here. I cannot have two sukuns. One has to be dropped. The weak letter has to be dropped. The weak letter happens to be ya. Huh? Fine. Now, again, the fa kalima also changes. Huh? Because it is not bab nasara, it will become kasara. Viana. Huh? Huh? So how will you say, I sold? 
Virtu. You sold. Viata. You sold. Viati. Huh? That's all. Huh? We sold. Viana. Huh? That's the idea, inshallah. Huh? So I will write now. Viana. How will I describe? Felu madin mabniun ala sukun. And noon is the file. You got the idea? Inshallah. So again, to come back, we are only doing Bab Nasara, huh? in which the Fa Kalima will get uh, Dhamma, and Ain Kalima will get dropped at Hunna. At Hunna, Ain Kalima will get dropped. Okay, brothers and sisters, so again we do one more time. Kala, Kala, Kalu. Kalat, Kalata, Kulna, Kulta, Kultuma, Kultum, Kulti, Kultuma, Kultuna, Kultu, Kulna. Fine. No difficulty. You can do it. Uh, inshallah, you will become expert. Inshallah. Uh, okay, let's try to do the mudariya. Kala Yakulu. Uh, uh, it will be fun to do mudariya also. And this will prove to us. That the Arabic words are very beautiful. They are enjoyable. They are fascinating. Huh? Okay, Yakulu. Yakulu. Yakulani. Yakuluna. Takulu. Takulani. Now. Yakulna. Same thing happened. Lam Kalima got a sukun because of uh, uh, Nunu Niswa. Huh? Are you with me? Lam Kalima got a sukun, then I have to drop the vow. Two sukuns came, iltikai sakinaini, meeting of two sukuns, and if one of the sukun is on a weak letter, that weak letter has to be dropped. Can you imagine how the language was evolved thousands of years ago? Brothers and sisters, it's, it's a miracle. All languages, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Every language is a miracle of Allah. It's a miracle, sign of Allah's miracle that Allah bestowed on His creation. Brother and sister, one more time. Yakulu, yakulani, yakuluna, takulu, takulani, yakulna. Then anta, takulu, takulani, takuluna, takulina, takulani, takulna, akulu. Nakulu. But if I say Kala Yakulu, it's very easy. Yakulu, okay. Five in your pocket. Yakulu, Takulu, Takulu, Akulu, Nakulu. So it's very easy. Same way now, Kama. Also Bab Nasara. What will you say? Kama, Kama, Kamu, Kamat, Kamata, Kumna, Kumta, Kumtuma, Kumtum, Kumti, Kumtuma, Kumtunna. Kumtu kumna. Are you with me? Mudariya, let's do it. Kama yakumu. Ready? Yakumu, yakumani, yakumuna, takumu, takumani, yakumna. Ya kumna. Ya kumna. Anta takumu, takumani, takumuna, takumina, takumani, takumna. Akumu. Nakumu. If I say Kama Yakumu, five in your pocket. Yakumu, Takumu, Takumu, Akumu, Nakumu. Very easy, brothers and sisters. Now, Zara. Huh? Kala, he said. Kama, he stood. Huh? And Zara, he visited. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, what is the. Now we come to Zara. Also, before you conjugate, you got to figure out is it Bab Nasara? Or not, because that will determine whether we give at Hunna the Fa Kalima Dhamma or Kasra. No Fata. Uh, there is no Fata. There is no Fata. We are only doing Ajwaf. Okay. Brothers and sisters, look at it carefully. Huh? Zara, Zara, Zara Yazuru. Very good. Zara Yazuru, brother. Zara Yazuru. Very good. Zara, Zara, Zaru. Zarat, Zarata, Zurna, Zurta, Zurtuma, Zurtum, Zurti, Zurtuma, Zurtuna, 
Zurtu Zurna. Are you with me? Send Zara Yazuru. Yazuru, five in your pocket. Yazuru, Tazuru, Tazuru, Azuru, Nazuru. Fine, brother, we can you get now. Yazuru, Yazurani, Yazuruna, Tazuru, Tazurani, Yazurna. Huh? Hunna, Yazurna, Anta, Tazuru, Tazurani, Tazuruna, Anti, Tazurina, Tazurani, Antunna, Tazurna, Ana, Azuru, Nahnu, Nazuru. Alhamdulillah. See, it's not difficult. Inshallah, you are going to enjoy it. But that every verb in the Quran will be within your reach, Inshallah. Huh? You will understand. Meaning, you will have to look through the dictionaries. But at least the construction part of the verb, you will understand what it is, huh? Inshallah. So here, this is what? This is Ajwaf. Huh? This is Ajwaf. Okay? And Dr. Abdurim has said here, Tamal ma yali hamidun kaala anta kulta ana kultu nahnu kulna anti antum antum kultum antum kultum that's the idea hum kaalu huwa kaala hiya kaalat hunna Kulna. Huh? We got to understand, inshallah, everything. Antunna. Kultunna. Kultunna. Huh? Very good. Very good. Now, brother, Hamid. Hamidun kama. Anta kumta. Ana kumtu. Nahnu kumna. Ready, brothers and sisters? Huh? So, anti kumti. Antum kumtum. Antunna. Kuntumna. Hum kamu. Huh? Okay. Hua kama. Hia kamat. Huh? And hunna kumna. Very good. Now we come to Zara. Zara Yazuru. Brother. Ready? Zara. Zara. Zaru. Zarat. Zarata. Zurna. Zurta. Zurtuma. Zurtum. Zurti. Zurtuma. Zurtunna. Zurtu Zurna Alhaakum Alhaakum Uttakasur Hatta Here is Zurtum What is Zurtum? Fiel and Fiel Where is Mafulun Bihi? Makabira There is a Fatah there So it is Mafulun Bihi Hatta Zurtumul Makabira Huh? So here is our verse of the Quran. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hamidun Zara. Anta Zurta. Ana Zurtu. Nahnu Zurna. Anti Zurti. Antum Zurtum. Antunna Zurtum. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hua Zara. Hum Zaru. Hia Zarat. And then Hunna Zurna. Huh? Inshallah. Uh, we will do uh, proceed further in a minute inshallah uh, it becomes more complex but I always say the more complex the verb gets the more interesting it becomes inshallah huh? so al kalimatul jadidatu istikbalun 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 Brother, welcoming or receiving somebody. Raisun is president. And what is the rural? Ruasau. Ruasau. Fine. Farkun is the difference. Huh? Jama is furukun. Okay. Misalun. Misalun. Huh? Amsilatun. Mahlan. Give, you, give me some time. Huh? Take it easy. Yeah. That will be the right translation. Mahalan. Take it easy. Kismun. Huh, brother? Kinds or sort. Huh? Aksamun. Very good. Adammatu. Dhamma. Al-fatahtu. And al-kasratu. Yeah. Hadara yahduru. Huh? He attended. Huh? 
Istarih, this is fail amar from form 10. We haven't done it, but we'll do it inshallah. Take rest. Huh? Ata yati. Now, this is our nakis verb. Huh? And you will find it changes in a different way. Huh? But inshallah we'll learn. Ata yati, he came. 